I would say I kind of found myself after my sophomore year of college and shit. Uh, that's kind of when I still decided to like, drop out. And I mean, it was really just a feeling where I was like, yo, I need to do something with my life, but it also needs to cater to something more real than just like the classic ass. Like, you know, my whole motto was like, oh, don't do the nine to five. Like, you know what I'm saying? All these certain things, like we can be our own bosses. You know, that's really what I wanted to do is be my own boss and kind of just be wherever I wanted to be, you know, do what I want to do, but also inspire and like influence many people. Like that's, that was the biggest thing. I was like, Man, I know I have the capability to do something in this world. Like that's what I used to think. That's why I was like, you know what? The best way I know how is music. And then hopefully that can take me down the road and I'll be able to help other people in different mediums other than music, you know? You see atmosphere now, like he does like hella you know, he's crazy, you know, artists and shit. Now he's like organizing festivals and shit. You know, that's so dope. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Like make a MKE festival in some open field that we found, you know, somewhere, like that'd be so fresh. Past the pitfall, past routine, that any questions and routine of a fiend that did the two dream, man. Hold up now, you a scheme, man. I don't spaz out when I see these greens. I only spaz out when the jazz rings loud and the whole damn crowd looks at them like, wow, now, been in the game, ho cow. I knew that Renaissance, uh, the first uh, technical single of the album, um, had its run pretty much, and it was about, what, uh, late October or something like that? We had just played at the McJiggy Show in Chicago, uh, Free Fest in Madison. And I was like, I really, 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 really need something to come out. But it can't be as turned up or like as, I don't know, I felt like, you know, you know other people might argue, but most of my songs that came out before could have been mimicked in some way. Um, you know, I got compared to Earl Sweatshirt with Blue Dream, which I like was like, damn, why? And then Desperate Youth was like, people were like, that shit's super crazy, cool. But a lot of people over time were like, you need to release some like, blah, blah, blah. And people are always going to tell you, you need to do this and that. But for me, I realized myself, I needed a song that was so interesting and so weird, even away from myself. No, like I said, like it's only been one year, so that's exactly why I was at the 89 Awards and I sat there and I knew I was up, and I knew technically, quote unquote, people were saying I was the favorite or whatever. But for me, in my head, I totally like, you know, just deplete that whole feeling. I'm like, man, I kind of actually hope I win. And after the performance, you know, we were getting so much good attention and stuff like that. People were like, wow, you did such a great job, like, yada, yada. And I heard someone do cried in the crowd, which is, that's real. <laughs> so it, it's an honor. I think everybody that voted for me, too. Like, that's the thing is that people have been carrying this, like, that's really what I respect. I don't even like, I don't even call them fans. I just, I, I like my family, like the people that are around me, like, it's straight up like, woo, like, thank you. Because I would not ever be here doing this interview, doing whatever, blah, 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 without that, you know? So I'm just excited to see where stuff's about to go in 2015. It's gonna be insane. Hey, what Why you wanna run a hatch? 
trick, Leo, no messy. For the gold, for the goals, for my goals. I swear to God, I'm gonna be in slow mo. That night, I'm Alice in Wonderland, uh, one time for the one time, hey. If you Alice in Wonderland, uh, one time for the one time, one time, for the one time. <laughs> Please, uh. Please, uh. Please, uh. <laughs> That's some crazy shit, Coda. <laughs>